Hello, welcome to Java Programming Tutorials, Chapter 10, Part 5, String Buffer in Java, brought to you by Angpro Technologies. My name is Harish. So in this session, we are going to learn about String Buffer in Java. As we know, String in Java is immutable. So that's what we learned in the first session of Strings when we started, like you can't change the value stored in a string. Okay, that's the, that's the thing like what Java the string in Java is immutable I mean, and the next question is how to make the string as mutable yes we can make the string mutable okay uh, in the sense you can change the value whatever you are stored in it okay and you can make that point to a single memory allocation okay how can we do that with the help of two classes they are string buffer and string builder classes so as of now in this session we are going to learn about the string buffer and about the string builder we are going to learn in the next session so string buffer class why it is used it's used to create a mutable string and to do that we have we need to make use of some of the methods which are present in the string buffer class they are append insert replace delete and reverse so now without wasting much time let me jump into eclipse and let me show you how to work with string buffer class okay and let me show you the advantage of using these methods so let me repeat you let me repeat the things what i told you again like what first of all let us understand what is a string mutable or what is a mutable string a string that can be modified or changed I can call that as mutable string and to do that we will make use of two important classes they are string builder and string buffer okay and first let us understand the string buffer class very clearly so let me jump into Eclipse so here I have a string demos to this what I'll do is I will add a project right click new let me add a class and I'll name it as buffer demo okay then I'll click okay so it's going to create me a class I hope you understood this one so now let us understand the string buffer so let me remove this now we are going to create a string which is mutable with the help of string buffer class and we'll make use of some of the methods present in it the methods are listed here append insert replace delete and reverse so these are the, some of the basic classes which are present in the buffer class so now now let me start with the append so the append method what it does is it concatenates the given argument okay uh, with the with the string so let me show you how to do that first let me create a string buffer string buffer sp is equal to new let me copy this and let me paste it here so this is what the string buffer class is okay and I have created an object of it sb so with the help of that what we can do is we can add, append a values to it sp, sp dot append okay so to the append what I need to do is I need to pass the value so the first is hello this is the string what I'm trying to pass right now hello and sp dot append it's Sam okay now what I'll do is I'll make use of system dot out dot print ln so I'm going to tell it as sb so now when I run this program it's going to print as hello Sam so this is what I call the string as mutable okay now this is called the string mutable so what we are trying to do is we are making use of a string builder class to make the string as mutable okay I hope you understood this the append method now what I'll tell you is the next method is the insert method so how can I use the insert method it's very simple so I'll just remove this so now let me tell like sb dot insert so insert I need to tell like at what index I have to insert at the first place okay I need to insert something like um, demo so let me end up with semicolon so now when I run the program it's going to print you can observe here this H E L L O it's stored in the index like 0 1 2 3 4 but I'm telling like insert at the first position after H okay I have to insert this demo so it's a reason you can observe here at the output we are getting H D E M O okay at the first position this string is getting inserted so this is the advantage of using the insert method 
okay then we have something called replace okay now what we'll do is let me show you how to work with the replace so to understand that very clearly now instead of allow yeah we have allow here okay now what I'll do is uh, sb dot replace start end and the string so I have to tell from from which from which index it has to start and where it has to end what is the thing it has to replace so I'll tell like from the first, first position it has to start and it has to end at the index 3 okay and the thing what it has to replace your is okay it is s a a m sam double a m okay that's fine so when I run the program you can observe here okay from the first position till the third index this string is getting inserted and it's getting replaced there okay those things are getting replaced you can observe here only the last two things are printing and these things are getting replaced e and l so this is the advantage of using the replace method and we have something called delete method so now what I'll do is I'll show you how to work with the delete I have uh, allow here so now what I'll do is I'll tell like sp dot delete so it has to tell like from which position it has to delete from the first index and the, till the third index it has to delete so when I run that oh, cancel okay I have to end up with semicolon so now when I run the program it's telling like hlo in the sense in the sense uh, the things okay it's get, it does, the characters will get delete okay from the first index and end, ends up with the third index so that's the reason we are getting HLO okay 0 1 2 3 so these two things are getting removed okay so this is what about the delete is and we have something called reverse so let me show you like what is reverse it's very simple one um, so if I want to reverse this allo okay um, then I need to call the reverse method so now what I do is I'll just run this you can observe here it's the string is reversed so this is the advantage of using the string builder class the basic advantage is if you want to make your string mutable then we have to go with the string buffer class okay this is the advantage of using the string buffer if, the main advantage is if you want to make it a mutable immutable then mutable then we have to make use of string buffer class I hope you understood this very sim in a very simple manner okay and if you want to know like what exactly string in Java is immutable please refer to my first video of the strings where you'll clearly understand like what is immutable of string in Java okay I hope you understood this so finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our YouTube channel Ankh Pro Training you can also like our Facebook page for strings URL you can also follow us on Twitter for further reference refer website we are on LinkedIn too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day